Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell in the upper right hand corner. Follow me on all forms of social media. Check me out at thedrummerguy.com and enjoy the following presentation. Oh, Josh. Hi, how's it going? Hey, fine. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, thank you very much for taking time to do this interview. Oh, I thank you for your efforts and your time. So I'm happy to talk a little bit about the new album and things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, absolutely. It's great to be able to talk to you again and be able to talk about some brand new music from Freedom Call, M-E-T-A-L, which is coming out in just a couple weeks now through Steam Hammer and SPV. Uh, I've gotten the chance to be able to check out this album, and I just love what's going on with Freedom Call in 2019. I mean, this album is just chock full of fun from all sorts and it's always a great time when I listen to Freedom Call but with this album it just for some reason to me it just feels like it's one of the most fun albums that you guys have released so far oh first thank you very much for all these compliments so I'm feeling happy that you about your opinion and yeah it's 20 years now Freedom Call is, is existing and uh, the time is flying, so it feels more than it's five or seven years ago. And um, yeah, and I, I, I didn't want to, to change any direction of our music because that's exactly this thing, what is flowing out of me. So I think a lot of years went, went over and uh, a lot of bands changed their direction or their style of music. But honestly, so I, I think uh, if you're starting with a with a with a kind of music or with a style of music, that's a personal thing. So, and uh, that is authentic, and that is what is uh, sleeping in your in you yourself, and you're letting it out. And when I'm changing the music, then um, yeah, then something shouldn't be uh, authentic anymore. So. Of course, I, ch I made a lot of experiences in life in, in any ways, but the, the music is that what is, uh, what is flowing out of me and there won't be a change in the next or for the rest of, the, of my life. Yeah. And that's the way it should be too. I mean, keeping that authenticity that's going on with Freedom Call, knowing what the sound is and wanting to make sure that you keep what the sound of Freedom Call is. And with all of that, I mean, that's what makes us such a great album to listen to. To. I mean, it's a very familiar album, but it but it's all very original in its sound as well, and that's what makes it such a fun album to listen to from start to finish. Yeah, exactly. This is the trademark of Freedom Call, and all the instruments, all the sounds of the keyboards I'm using, uh, I got inspired in my youth when I was listening to my favorite bands, like it was Alan Parsons Project, or it was Saga, or... In the first time when I was a child, it was the Beatles. And that is inspiring me. And I, I don't see a reason why to change it because that is a, yeah, what I said, it's a personal thing. And uh, there are a million um, amazing, incredib incredible bands on this planet. And when I would change a little bit the style of music, when I really would leave the path of our trademark, there will stay ten thousands of, of other bands beside they are doing that much better the different way. So uh, that's my opinion. I'm going this small path of Freedom Calls music with the sounds, with the arrangements, with the songwriting and the performances. And then you can be sure there's 100% Freedom Call in it, nothing else. Yeah, and that's what I love, like, uh, over two decades now of Freedom Call is getting that original sound, that authentic sound that yeah. is going on with Freedom Call, and I think that's just a great way to look at it, too, is nobody does Freedom Call better than Freedom Call. <laughs> yeah, thank you. it's 100% Freedom Call, and, um, yeah, when I'm honest, I'm not listening so much to music because I'm working every day in the studio and when, I'm, uh, when I finish my work, I'm yeah, a bit tired to continue to listen to music. And maybe that is the reason why um, yeah, I'm, I can keep this small path of freedom call, I can keep it alive and I'm not changing because I'm not getting so much uh, influences anymore from other music. So it's a, yeah, it's a private thing. 
and uh, there are no uh, influences from other metal bands. They are coming to me while listening uh, the whole day metal music. Oh, and I can imagine that's the case too. I mean, with how uh, busy you are, with how uh, busy Freedom Call can be, uh, and and just life in general. I mean, when you surround yourself with metal so much, and then. Uh, a lot of people yeah. would think that you would just want to calm down for the rest of the day and just listen to other metal music. <laughs> and, you know, that can be very counterintuitive sometimes. Yeah. So, uh, I'm, but I'm not only busy with Freedom Call. So, I've, because we are not in the status that we all can earn money, we, we can earn enough money just to play with Freedom Call. But I'm, uh, I'm, an, um, I'm a professional musician, so I do not have a fixed job or something besides. And so you have to work a lot <laughs> to to pay your expenses and that you can afford to go on tour and uh, traveling around. So life is very expensive and traveling is expensive and you have you need to buy all this gear and you have to be updated with all your studio uh, software things. It really takes a lot of money. But I'm totally happy. So I, I'm 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 not collector. I'm not a, a money collector. <laughs> So, be, because I'm happy in my life with my job and with my, with my family and with my friends, I do not need much money, and that's absolutely worth to live a life like this, what we are doing. Yeah, and that's what's so important, too. I mean, especially in this day and age when um, music and the financial aspects are uh, more on the downside than yeah. possibly ever before, you got to be in it for the love of the music, the, the fact that you want to go out there and tour, the fact that you want to be able to uh, build up the equipment that you want to or upgrade the equipment that you want to to be able to make the best album yeah. possible and you kind of have that creative mindset to still want to make music as well and as long as you can have that and you can still have the other aspects of your life in check I mean that's such a great way to go about yeah. things yeah of course but I, I think it, it's a brilliant life what we are living but so it's just possible because all the members of Freedom Call have no families and are not married and there are not so many responsibilities like to pay for, an, for a house or for the family, for the kids when they go into school or for holidays and things. So we are investing our um, income into this what we are loving, it's, it's the, the music and that is, yeah, being an artist is a very nice life and uh, so it's a very good um, way to live as a free bird. So no limits and yeah, it's, it feels great and that's worth to um, maybe have the situation that you can't afford to go on holidays, but I don't care. <laughs> yeah, and when you're able to go out and you're able to play shows in uh, in different areas of Europe or when you're able to come over here to America for something like Prog Power, for example, I mean, you are able yeah. to experience those different uh, parts of the world and discover those fan bases from across the world that love what Freedom Call has done over these past 20 years. Fantastic. Great to hear. <laughs> but we also did this experiences. It doesn't matter where we played in Europe or where what you said at the Park Power in Atlanta, it was amazing. It's an amazing festival with um, with uh, amazing people. Or we go into South America or Japan and things. That is so uh, incredible because when I'm writing my songs in my own studio in my house, just in, in, the, in the attic, there's a small room. I'm, I'm writing my songs and I'm also producing. And um, that is so amazing. How does it feel when you go into Japan and all the people know this music, what I wrote in my small room <laughs> in my house. And that is always amazing. And I hope that I never will feel to appreciate that, that I'm never getting so tired or so um, full of routine that I can't um, notice that anymore. So this is what I hope for myself. And with that in mind, I mean, what's that like now with uh, the, the new album coming out in just a couple weeks now? I mean, how does it feel to be having the new album out? I mean, d is it a good feeling that it's coming out? Is it a relief that it's coming out? Yeah, so this, especially to me personally, it's a bit weird because I, I'm, I'm working on this album since more than a year. So starting with our first songwritings, then arranging this, then recording this, and producing, and, and then the mixing session. But 
to me, always, it feels like my job and all the, all the passion for this album um, is finished after the mastering. Then I'm, I'm, I'm not listening to this album anymore. <laughs> so it's a bit weird, I'm saying that. So my, my, my next focus is the tour, because that is the most important part for me to go on stage, to play for the people, to talk to the people, to have meet and greets, and just the traveling, that makes me really happy. The studio and the recordings is a very interesting part, and you can grow a lot, and you can learn a lot of things. Yeah, but when the mastering is finished, for me, it's the, the book is closed. Then next is tour, so I'm not celebrating myself with a new album. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and, you know, thinking about that as well, I mean, now that the fact that the album is coming out in a couple weeks now and you are able to start uh, focusing on the live shows, I mean, what is that like for you now? I mean, where is your mind right now when you are thinking about the upcoming shows to be able to promote this album? Yeah, yeah, of course. So I'm, I'm, I'm of course, excited about the, the critics and the reviews for the new album. And we already played one song of the new album, um, yeah, recently at, a, at two festivals in, in the eastern part of Europe and Slovakia and Czech Republic. And we played the song METAL. And that was so amazing because we uh, released the video clip before and yeah, it felt like all the people were into the song and they were totally involved. They were singing along with us and it was, it felt, so, it felt like it's a song we played five years, five years already. And um, yeah, so the rehearsals for the new album are very interesting. How does it feel to play the songs live? Because it's totally different, so the studio work and the, and the live situation. And yeah, I, I think it feels good to the to the entire band that we can change our program because we played it now uh, three years, and we are um, we are a hard touring band. So there were many many shows we played the old set list. And now we're looking forward to play the new songs. Yeah, and you know, it's just, it's it's so great because there's so many great Freedom Call albums uh, over the last 20 years. And now when you are able to uh, focus on a yeah. new album and you're able to freshen up that set list and be able to show where the band is at right now in 2019. Yeah, yeah, too many good songs. <laughs> you, you can uh, imagine that it's, it's getting harder and harder to uh, write the right set list for the tour. Because a lot of people are writing messages or requesting for, hey, Chris, please play this song, okay? And then uh, I'm, I'm struggling and I'm thinking, okay, but we have to play Land of the Light. We have to play Warriors. We have to play Metal is for Everyone. We have to play Power and Glory. We have to play Freedom Call. And then finally, there are not so many, um, there's not, not so many space for new songs anymore. And, um, but anyways, that are problems in a very uh, uh, high level. So I don't, I don't care. We, we will find the right set list. I think the most important thing is that we as a band have to feel comfortable on stage because it's the only way to bring to the people the fun. We have to feel happy, then we can make the people happy. Oh yeah, and that's what's so important too. I mean, when everyone is on stage and there's an authentic, again, bring things back to the beginning about that authenticity of Freedom Call. I mean, as long as that authenticity of happiness and wanting to be on that stage and wanting to be able to play live is there, yeah. it's going to be translated to the crowd and it's just going to make everyone enjoy the show that much more. Exactly, and that's our aim. So we're not a band who wants to uh, present the abilities on the instruments to the people. We are, and we are not a band, they have a special message to the fans, lyrical or musical message or something. We, we are going on tour, it's just for this moment to give to the people a chance to jump out of their real life. Maybe they have some problems with a job, financial things, family or whatever, relationship. and. We are giving the people then on our concert one and a half hours the chance to, yeah, maybe to leave their real life and just have fun. And, and hopefully it keeps on uh, for, the, for the next days or maybe hours or weeks or whatever. 
But that's our aim. That's the reason why we're going on tour and play our songs for the people. Yeah, and I can absolutely say it worked for me uh, a few years back when I was able to see you at Proc Power USA. That was easily one of my yeah. favorite sets of the entire uh, four-day festival is because of how much oh, fun, great, the positivity, everything that was going on with your sets. And I just kept thinking about that for days and weeks on end about how happy I was from beginning to end yeah. when you guys were playing. Yeah, that is always amazing um, how the people are reacting from the beginning on of our concerts. And I'm also getting uh, or, or got several really long messages and emails from people. They were thanking us heartily for their for, for the life support. And it's not only the lyrical side, and it's maybe not only the music, but it's this combination. I think it's these. Uh, this karma or, or this atmosphere we are bringing over that can people help in their life, and it's not the it's 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 not the the, um, the aim to help people or giving a life support, but for some people, it's a very important thing to listening to some music that makes that 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 makes their more happy or uh, it's it's let's grow in the mood. Oh yeah, and I think that's absolutely sometimes all that you need too i mean uh, especially when you just look at the styles of metal that are out there i mean there's so many very different dark styles of metal that can bring a lot yeah. of like negative feelings you know like a, a lot of anger yeah. or sadness or something and then when you put on something like freedom yeah. call it's almost refreshing which is so strange to think about too especially <laughs> with how uh, metal has evolved over decade over decade yeah. and you know it's just it's so great to yeah. see something like freedom call being a able to just be a metal band and just bring that power of metal for years upon years now. Yeah, and many people are asking us, hey, you have to be happy 24-7. And no, we are not. So we're also persons who are struggling or have some problems in their life or some some things which is not working well. But maybe our kind of music is uh, sometimes when I'm starting to write songs or when I'm um, uh, working on a new material, it's kind of like a self-therapy. <laughs> so so it, it's, it's helping ourselves as well. So it's not only that we are given, we're also taking from this kind of music. And this is probably what, what you said, there's so many metal bands, they play in these evil things and dark things and um, yeah, so I, I think Freedom Call is different and that's the reason why we are polarizing in this metal scene. So I, I can understand the people, they are listening to really dark metal stuff that Freedom Call is too happy. But then I'm not forcing people to listening to the Freedom Call. <laughs> but the people are really, uh, yeah, they are yelling and things, this is flower metal, this is um, uh, metal for children. Thank you, I love children. <laughs> I love flowers, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I was just thinking to myself too, it's like, if I ever hear Freedom Call start to make like a black metal album or something like that, I'd be a bit concerned yeah. about what's going on inside the band. <laughs> yeah, so I think we are, we are artists and um, we are not metal machines. And so I I grew up, I started to play the guitar in the age of seven, I got lessons and, and that. So I'm not doing this just to write metal music. So I want to be an artist to feel free and um, um, I'm happy when people are respecting this. And I don't, don't care if some people are, uh, do not like Freedom Calls music. I can understand because it's very, very special. But I think the people have to respect generally artists because they live in a very special and a not always easy life. Yeah, it's it's so very true too. And again, I think that, uh, again, just thinking about the authenticity that's going on with the band and everything. And yes, yeah. uh, the band does have so much uh, positivity that's going on there as well. You know, just like a more happy sounding compared to uh, other bands and other styles that are out there. But uh, much like you mentioned before, you know, it's just like sometimes it, it, it feels like it's kind of necessary in life to just being 
able to find that positivity in life and whether that can be through a guitar riff or through uh, an amazing chorus that can be sung live at every show I mean you yeah. know just trying to find any kind of positivity that's going on there and being able to spread that be it a conscious decision yeah. or not is a good thing yeah so I, I, I don't see that that uh, the belongings in life are much different as the belongings in, in music or just in sounds. And um, I, I can't believe that it's, it's, a, it's an honest thing when people are really um, um, preferring no flowers, <laughs> no grass, no colors, and no, just noises or something. I can't believe, so because it's, it's the, the, the small things in life which are making us happy, that are colors, that is the, the taste of something, the smell of, of, of nice things. And that's just what we are doing or what we're trying to do with the music. So there are some small elements which are um, yeah, making you feel comfortable. And the most honest people are children. <laughs> and children are not listening to just noises or children are not preferring the dark or something like that. And I think it's more the education um, or yeah, your development in life which is making your taste of music and we are still keeping to be children <laughs> <laughs> and i find that to be such a great thing too and you know it's like i i, I know there's a lot of elitism that can go in, especially in the metal like if you listen to one genre of metal it, it's it's not as good as other kinds of metal but yeah. for me you know it's just like well again you know like a, one of the standout songs from freedom called metal is for everyone there's something for yeah. everyone that's <laughs> out there and you know when i go to listen to freedom call it, you know it's because i yeah. i love listening to what the sound has perfected over the last couple decades now yeah. and just being able to you know either bring that uh, childlike sense you know just like of what exploring what the world is about all these different colors when you close your eyes and listen to freedom call when yeah. you go to see freedom call live there's so many different great experiences that you can discover from the band that you wouldn't get anywhere else yeah, so, but we are, we are doing that not on purpose, oh, that yeah. we're trying to, um, uh, leading people or life supporting or manipulating or something like that. So we're seeing that from a very, very easy and simple side. It's just, we are thinking that all the people are invited to be part of our songs, of our music, of our message, of our style and atmosphere. They are just invited. Everybody is welcome. And that was the meaning of metal is for everyone. And that is really serious that we're saying, hey, try it out. Be part of that and try it out. And I'm convinced that you're feeling a little bit better than before. It's enough. Just a little bit. Yeah, and sometimes that's all you need. And when, again, you know, in 2019 with the state of the world, I mean, there's so many different directions that uh, someone can go into where you start to feel bad about different things. With METAL, for example, in 2019, <laughs> when I listen to it, it just brings a smile to my face. It just makes me feel a yeah. little bit better about the world. It makes me realize that there are still great things going on in this world, be it a conscious effort to be this way or not. I mean, some, again, it's just that yeah. authenticity of what's going on with the band and knowing that this is what you just want to make. I mean, it's not a mission statement. It's just what's naturally coming out of the yeah, band. Exactly. That's that's not a mission or something, but this is the plan with a song like METAL, because we know, of course, that we are not the darkest metal band. But that is the funny thing, because we are all seen with this blink in the eye, and we have a lot of humor in it, and we are working, working very serious, and we are playing our show very serious, but finally we are not taking us as serious, ourselves as serious. And that's the message of METAL. It's just metal. The people are going to huge metal festivals, like here in Germany, Wacken. There are 80,000 people. They are not going to there just to listening to metal music. They're going there to have fun and enjoying their lives. And that's exactly what we're saying. Metal is a, it's, it's good to have a good, a good feeling. It's, it's a good way to um, 
enjoy your life and you do not have to have uh, evil things or dark things into it because it's a song, a song it's called metal yeah and i couldn't agree more and again that's what i love about the authenticity of this album and of course uh, the band over the last two decades too i mean no matter what direction that it's gone in whether uh, it's uh, tried different things or it has f maintained that freedom call sound it always has that authenticity to me that's going on there and again with this album you know it's like not taking life so seriously just you know hearing sounds yeah. that you might not always hear on another metal album themes that you may not always hear on another metal album and just going into a freedom call show going into a freedom call album being just a little happier and i think that's such a great way to go about things yeah so all is quite easy so life is short and we have to enjoy this i think there's no time to waste with some some things and hopefully we can help a little bit um, to to find the right way to enjoy your life and not to struggle around with things. Oh, and that, again, that is such a great thing to hear that. And with that in mind, uh, obviously, uh, focusing, uh, n now shifting the mind from uh, the actual album METAL to now being able to promote the album live and uh, doing these live shows, what should people expect from the band going forward now, now with the album coming out in just a couple weeks? Uh, yeah, so our tour is starting end of September, and we have a um, yeah, quite full um, tour schedule, and also the ticket pre-sales are running amazingly well, and well, so we, we are really excited now. Um, we already started with the first rehearsals, and um, yeah, it's a big thing, so I think the, the tour will continue till uh, mid of 2020, and now we got some requests also from Japan and from South America, and it will be a very, very busy time for us. But we are really looking forward to go on tour because that's the reason why we are making music. It's going on tour to meet the people, to talk to them, and to look into their eyes while playing on stage. And yeah, this is the most amazing thing on this job, musician. Oh, and I think right there, I think that's such a fantastic note to end on. Uh, knowing that uh, you're getting to go out there this year into next year, uh, possibly beyond too, before uh, the next album, just being able to uh, go out there, play for these fans that have come to see you guys, or sometimes uh, coming to see the other yeah. bands on the bill and discovering Freedom Call for the first time, and just uh, showing that uh, the, the metal world, all these different sides, and you know just uh, taking away the problems of life and just bringing smiles to people's faces and just having a great time as Freedom Call and listening to Freedom Call. Exactly. That's exactly this what what the plan is and yeah we can't wait to to hit the road with a big tour bus and uh, yeah we have great uh, supporting bands with us we know them already and that will be a great time we will enjoy oh fantastic well again uh thank you so very much for taking all of this time to talk to me about everything that's going on in your world right now and of course uh, the brand new album from freedom call m-e-t-a-l which is coming out uh the 23rd of august through steam hammer and sp I love this album. I love what's going on with the band right now. 20 years strong of Freedom Call and just knowing that the auth authenticity, the positivity, and just the the real joy that's going on for uh, the, the crowds that are checking you guys out, uh, listening to the album, and you bringing it back as well. You know, just uh, that good ebb and flow between the crowds, the fan base, and the band is still alive and well. And thank you for letting me know about everything that's going on in your world right now. Hey, John. Josh, I'm thanking you very much for your efforts, for the nice talk, and uh, I wish you also lots of success and a good time with your show, and uh, hope to meet you someday in when Freedom Call is coming over to the U.S. We can't wait for that. Hopefully soon, and to all metalheads, check it out, the new album, M-E-T-A-L, it's worth to listen to. Thank you very much.